is it gonna stay? And it stays. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> today I am going to show you a tutorial to how to make a fake Brooks. I haven't made this for a while, so let's see how it goes. All you need: is purple eyeshadow. This is by Ion. It's purple. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, do not use the eyeshadow with glitter. I thought, well, we're trying to achieve is make a real looking bruise. If you use bruised eyeshadow with glitter, it won't be as real. And I've got red lipstick by the same company. It's Ion. And it's this kind of bright red. And foundation. I like the foundation with sunscreen in it. My God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, growing like a liar. God's not dead, surely alive. you need a brush if that's what you choose to use. I like using e.l.f. It's a really good brush and it's only a dollar. It's a really good quality for a cheap price. And I love using e.l.f. brushes. First that I do take I've chipped. I don't know what happened with this other chipped and I ain't used it in a while. Oh well, stuff happens. Um, I'll take a little. Put it on a place desired, but it'd be easier to show you if I do it or not. So, let's say I got bruise right here. Just put a little bit there. Try to make it dark as you can. That's what you want. Okay, I'm going to try to stick with a small bruise. Sometimes if you use too much foundation it will actually make it bigger. And just put a little bit of red in it. Not to use too much because you're going to use foundation to spray it. Just like that. And just a tiny bit of foundation on it. Maybe a drop. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like that. What you do is just pat it down. Pat it, rub it, whatever you want to do. If you rub it too much, it'll spread. So you need to try to make it in that one spot. Not fast, it's more or less to pat it. I can give you one of those to not make a circle because if you get brushes a lot you know they are not a perfect circle. So I'm trying to make it online uneven. So I'm going to go over it again because right now it looks like that a little too red. I would have it on the camera. Put this down. Maybe a lot of 
I have a salami? No, not really. I'm gonna probably show you a bit a few of it at the end of the video. But this time I'm gonna try to put a little bit more purple in it. And let's <coughs> red. You can do this until you get the desired look you want. Just put this to the My God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, growing like a liar. God's not dead, surely alive. Put a little bit of foundation like you did last time. I'm not even paying attention. I'm gonna put more. Just pat it. Use more foundation if you need to. To make it more realistic, if you have yellow eyeshadow that's not glittery you can use that too but the yellow eyeshadow I have is like shimmery so you won't do me no good well I also have this bunch but I would have to throw away anyway this is called a little bit of foundation on it so I'm going to use it just continue patting it down For me, I don't want it too dark. Just it seems like if you get it too dark, it seems kind of fakeish, I guess. So I like to have my fake brushes kind of light. and everything. And I still suck at making videos, but you know, practice it perfect, I guess. Okay, that's kind of how I want it. There you have it. Bye. See you into the next video.